in part one, chapter four of Coming of Age in Mississippi, after moving into the new house, Mama and Essie go to buy furniture. Essie is now almost 12. She picks out a bed similar to one she's seen in a white home. But Mama tells her not to want what white people have. With new mahogany furniture, the family is almost middle class. James comes to live with them. Yet despite the family's improved finances, tension remains. Raymond's family wants nothing to do with Mama. Mama and Raymond pressure Essie to do better in school than Raymond's young sisters, who have lighter skin tones and feel superior. Adeline and Junior struggle in class, and Essie knows the pressure's on her to succeed. She becomes competitive with Darlene and joins the school basketball team. Mama delivers the new baby in a dramatic birth. Essie compares to killing a hog at night. Aunt Caroline, an old woman Essie doesn't recognize, arrives to help. Essie learns Aunt Caroline delivered her, too. The baby girl is named Virginia and called Jenny Ann. Essie notices the calm, peaceful look on Mama's face and wishes her mother could stay happy. Raymond's mother, Miss Pearl, comes to the house to see the children and ignores Mama. After she leaves, Mama begins to cry. For Christmas, Mrs. Claiborne gives Essie a bonus. Essie reflects on how the Claibornes treat her like a daughter, while Raymond's family hates Mama because of her dark skin, even though they themselves are black. This Christmas is the nicest one Essie's ever had. Essie wants access to the spaces and objects she admires. Again, she's reminded by Mama to know her place in the established power structure. Sports, especially basketball, provide a way for Essie to grow in confidence and skill. In sports, she can be aggressive and competitive in a way she can't often in life. She learns to meet and exceed high expectations on the court. 